What's going on guys, my name is Frostimate and welcome back to a brand new Adventure Quest Words Fresh Start V2 episode. Now today, in this episode, I'm going to be getting the Blinding Light of Destiny, man. Absolutely insane plays. Just a massive shout out to Alina and the Arctic's Entertainment team as they put the double Spirit Orb boost on a few days ago and that really helped me and motivated me to get the farm done. And it was actually so much easier, as you can expect, with double spirit orbs. So I've already just managed to get the blinding fragments. So I'm just going to quickly go to Necropolis and turn in the last brilliant auras. I'm going to turn in the quest, get the blinding light of destiny, equip it, enhance it, all that sort of thing. And then what I'll do is I'll go over how I've done it, what um, weapons I used and all that sort of thing. So but yeah, as I said, the double spirit orbs, man, just made it so much quicker. As I said in my last video, going from 20 maximum spirit orb drop to getting 20 minimum was just absolutely insane. Right, so I've got the 60. I literally need six more. Um, I don't want to show you guys my inventory just yet, but I literally just need six more of these brilliant auras. As you can see, I'm using the mace to get the brilliant auras. That was actually my first one that I got. It was to, um, my first weapon was the Blinding Mace of Destiny, which was actually a really good one to go for to begin with because you didn't need a brilliant aura to create the mace for some reason. I'm pretty sure it's the only one that doesn't require that. So very interesting as um, to be fair, because getting a brilliant aura for the first time obviously takes a very long time. You need so many bright auras and just so many spirit orbs in general. So guys check this out are you ready for this i don't think you guys are ready for this check this out dude bang i've already got everything as you can see 75 brilliant auras was the last thing that i needed bright auras was absolutely so easy because i had the bow the blinding aura dropped when i was farming the brilliant auras yesterday spirit orbs got so many of them lord spirit orbs and the ultimate weapon kit let's go ahead and turn in the blinding light of destiny dude hell yeah man okay here is the achievement badge destiny is blinding and let's go ahead and get the blinding light of destiny man so it literally took me less than a week or a week around about a week actually to get the blinding light of destiny due to the double spirit orb drops yo it's lagging so much today dude. it's actually so annoying right there is the blinding light of destiny at level 60 guys i was level 50 when i first started this i've leveled up 10 times i've got maximum gold in a sense that you know i know that you can get more gold afterwards by selling items and such but hell yeah did battle on managed to get the blinding light of destiny on my fresh start free to play account looks absolutely insane i've got the badge there and it, it was just a lot easier than expected guys you know i'm going to show you what i managed to get what weapons i used so that's without further ado let's go into that so the first one as i said i used the mace of destiny which gives you one brilliant aura which is a lot of spirit orbs that's saving you so much time then the second one i actually went for the blinding blade of destiny because essentially the blinding blade of destiny gives you loyal spirit orbs and spirit orbs which help you get the requirements for the axe but also maybe a few bright auras if you need them and then to get the bright auras i used the bow which was the third one that i used now the bow is just insane you get five bright auras per turn in and i just it was so easy it was so easy i've got a bright aura or five bright auras every single turn in it says that on the quest that you may also receive at random but i got one every single time so if i show you here it says you may receive at random five but i got five every single time and that was pretty much it then the last bit all i had to do was really get the blinding aura which as i said dropped from doing the mace quest towards the end and that is pretty much it guys i now have the blinding light of destiny I'm going to be using this weapon for such a long time dude it looks so cool uh, i've got a bit of a set going on already as you can see with the void battle mage i'm going to show you guys clips of my progress after this um, but guys that is going to be it from me in this video i'm going to show you the clips of my progress getting to this stage i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe if you are new it means a lot if you do that and yeah guys thank you so much for watching and enjoy the progress clips Intoxicating your energy First 
time in so long you felt the heat Feel freedom to 